Welcome to the video, you guys. All right, I am so stoked for this video. I've been dying waiting for this stuff to show up, but I'll go ahead and show you right now. So here's our diode dynamics. Here's two of them, our new fog lights. Actually pretty good size, a little hand comparison. So there's two, comes with, I got universal ones, so just comes with some pigtails, with the wiring right there. So you will need some more wires to build your harness for these. So I have 40 feet of positive, 40 feet of negative. So that should be plenty. Right here is our actual mounts, which are very nice quality. Very nice. I like those a lot. Then place that I got out. Okay, so there's both the mounts. And then in this box, there's two more lights. So we already put the little brackets on here. You're gonna wanna make sure when you put the brackets on, you see that there's a D. There's like a D right there. You want that to be up, and there'll be lettering on the bottom. You want that to be able to be seen, so that way you know they're on the correct way. But let's go ahead and open this guy. Get your stickers. Each light right here. Pull the plastic on. And then you get your mount, plug, bolts, and your other mount, plug, bolts. I'm gonna go ahead and assemble these ones real quick too. My goal is, because I need my dad for the wiring, because we're gonna try and make this look as clean and as professional as possible, and that is not my uh, forte. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and pop the plastic trim off the van, get that all trimmed up. Excuse me, while we're waiting for him, and then we'll get these mounted too. That way he can just build us the harness, and then we can just install the harness. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get these assembled, and we'll get back to you. See, we got it all done. These are just finger tight, all the attachments, got all four of our pigtails, our bolts that are actually going to bolt these little brackets to these, and then we got our 40 feet of wiring. Now we're going to go out to the van and uh, try and pop those plastic pieces off so we can go ahead and start trimming those. Oh, I think we just made some headway. Yep. I don't mind the van, I know it's super dirty. I need to wash it. It's just Let's try not to break nothing. Oh! Alright, there she is. There's one. Look how crusty it is in there. I'm gonna have to clean that up. Oh, disgusting. Still, we're gonna start on the bottom. Shove our pride tool up in there. Pop that sucker off. There you have it. Took the lights off the bracket so we could get our nuts in behind because since this uh, did not come with fog lights, there isn't the bolt holes that are normally there for the Torx bolts. So we use some eight millimeter bolts with some nylon lock nuts on the back and uh, it's, it's real sturdy. It's not going nowhere. So that's how we did that. Now we're gonna go grab our lights and finagle it on to get the uh, get the lights back on so we'll go ahead and do that real quick and see how that goes all right we got the lights all in and uh, I'm pretty happy with how it went I did have to uh, kind of finagle the bolt that goes through because it kept wanting to fall out I turned my wheels all the way in because I have these larger tires it uh, made it a little more difficult to get my hands back in there but them done we did mess them up a little bit as you can see we nicked it and then we nicked this one too but it's a very tedious process so just choose whatever method is best for you I use Dremel probably wouldn't recommend using Dremel my dad actually helped clean these up so yeah probably don't use a Dremel um, 
makes it kind of difficult, but now we're gonna go over there, put it on, put the one on that uh, the lights are in, and then uh, we'll check it out, see how it fits, see how everything works. We still need to get it all wired up. I'm not sure if we're gonna get the wiring harness done tonight or tomorrow morning. So uh, we'll wait and see, but right now, I got a piece, I'll be back. All right, it's about two days later. We have our wiring. We're gonna go ahead and try and run this to see, uh, kind of mock fit it. And then uh, we'll get back to you guys, but we're just doing this right now so we know how long we need these wires to be when we cut them so we don't mess up. So we're gonna run them across from these lights to through the back of the bumper over to this side since the fuse panel is right under this hood right here. Then we'll run them up. Um, we're probably gonna run an individual line for each light. That way we can only turn on like say outers and then inners. So that's kind of our goal here in case I want the inners to be driving lights and the outers to be fog lights. It's kind of what I want to do in the long run. So I'm going to end up probably replacing those lenses at some point. But I just think that it's a better idea in case these things are super bright. So I'm not making people angry. But let's, uh, let's go ahead and pop this hood real quick and then figure out how we're going to run this all. Our wire's cut. These are our shorter wires. Is what we did is we just ran one wire, one of these wires down. Held it tight, felt like we gave it enough slack, snipped it, and then did the same for the other three lines, the other the other red one and the other uh, two black ones. So these are our short lines, and then we have our long lines over here, we did the same exact thing. Had someone hold the end of it, ran it how we wanted it, snipped it, measured the same length for all three. There might be a little extra on the inner light, like a little extra length. But that's fine because when we run it up to the aux beam uh, control part, we can just snip it right there and it's no big deal. So that's what we did. We got all that done in about, shoot, 10 minutes, super quick. Um, now we just need to add the solder this up and hopefully this is gonna work out and we're not gonna have any issues because that would really suck. I, that's why I don't mess with wiring, but hey, maybe it's easier than it looks, I don't know. Right now it seems to be going way easier than it normally does, so. I feel like we're gonna hit a dead end here soon. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get back to you guys once he's here and can help me solder this wiring up. We just finished the driver's side harness. It's looking pretty sweet. We're gonna go ahead and plug it in, test it out, make sure it works. And then we'll, uh, we'll go from here. So let's go ahead and get this thing plugged in and hopefully this works right. Well, we have one of the lights hooked up. We're gonna go ahead and see if this works. They're nice and tight. I don't know which ones, they're right here. They're on a 20 amp. So, I'm gonna turn this thing on and hopefully we don't break some shit, I guess. Hell yes! All right, well, we did something, right? So that's our outers. And that shit. We might have to readjust those, but where are they even shiny? Yeah. Oh, I got way over there. All right. Well. All right. Here's our second harness for this side. We got the other side already good. It's all functioning. So now we just need to get this hooked up. Ran into the same ports. We're gonna have two different ports for outer and inner, and then uh, we should be dialed. So let's go ahead and get these plugged in and ran. Yeah. Is that, is that the inner? Yep. On both sides? Yep. Dude! Yeah. Certified YouTube electrician. Hit me up for all your electrician needs. Now we just gotta wire these in for the outers. And we're done. We're done. We got it all wrapped up. The lights are all wired in. We got our aux beam cover back on there looking all nice and sleek. Can't even really see where the wires have been ran. I love that. Uh, we come in here into the van. We have our buttons. We got fog for outers and then fog lights for inners. Or no, fog, yeah, fog outers, fog lights, inners. Eventually we'll change this to probably driving lights or something once we get the new uh, housings. But we'll go ahead and turn the ignition on just like so. Okay, this is fog. So this is outers on both sides. Yeah, those are bright. Okay, outer one. Outer two. 
Looking snazzy. Okay, we'll come back into the van. Let's go ahead and turn these lights off so they're not blinding them. And then we'll hit the other button. And that's both. As you can see, some pretty good lightage. Alright you guys, these things are so bright. Look at this. So bright. Insanely bright. These aren't even the uh, the pros, these are the sports. So, just know, let's see if we can get in this light. Just know, if, if you went pro, they're gonna be insane. Like, I think I'm gonna go ahead. I wasn't gonna do this because I didn't really like how it looked, but maybe we'll try it. I think I'm gonna buy the hood mounts and put some pros up there for driving lights or like floodlights or something. Because with these, I mean, there's four, but as sports, I would imagine pros are about two times as bright. So I couldn't imagine how bright sports would be on the road. Even if they say that they are DOT approved or whatever, I do not see how they would be road legal because these things are bright. Like, I feel like I'm gonna get pulled over just having these all four on. I like to run just two because I feel like I'm gonna get pulled over with these. With just Look at that. No headlights on, that's all fog light. That's, that's awesome, I love it. You can actually see where I'm going at night. It's gonna wrap up the video, you guys. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned a little something about these lights. Um, I mean, it's a pretty, pretty simple thing. I hope you guys will uh, make the jump to go ahead and pick these up for your van they they really do improve the aesthetic looks of your van a ton helps with being able to see at night a ton i think i still need to do a little bit of adjusting with them maybe i'll trim the inside piece so i have more room to adjust them but uh, other than that i'm very happy with how they went in very happy with the install and uh, i hope you guys can make the right decision with your van and uh, go ahead and pick these up because they are just sick. Obviously, if you already have fog lights in your van, you don't need to do anything we did. You can go on, I forget what it is. I just look up Van Parts Warehouse. I believe that's their site. But they sell the full kit to where you just plug and play. All the lights will turn on when you turn your fog lights on. It's like $900. In total, I paid $600, but I didn't go with the pro lights. I went with sports just because I got a really good deal on them. And because I figured as them being my fog lights, I don't need that kind of lighting. Because I'll just have, once I have my roof rack, I'll have LP9s up there. It won't even be an issue about lights. So, but definitely pick these up for your van. They are amazing. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.